Today we are diving into an important comparison between two significant infectious diseases, Mpox and COVID-19, caused by monkeypox virus and SARS-CoV-2 respectively. Let's get into the details. All right, let's start by defining what we are dealing with. Both Mpox and COVID-19 have been prominent in recent health news, but they come from different virus families and have distinct characteristics. First, we have the Mpox. Mpox is caused by the monkeypox virus. It is a DNA virus, the double-stranded DNA from pox variety family and the orthopox virus genus. It has a brick-like shape. On the other hand, COVID-19 which is caused by SARS-CoV-2 virus which is single-stranded RNA virus. It belongs to coronavirus family and the beta coronavirus genus. It has a spherical shape covered with spike proteins. Secondly, we get on to the variants and clades. For monkeypox, we have two clades till now, clade 1 and clade 2. Then they have subclades. And for SARS-CoV-2 virus, we have 38 plus clades as of mid-2024. And then it has also subclades. We see the clade 1 of monkeypox virus is more lethal than clade 2. And in the monkeypox virus, we have seen less mutations as compared to SARS-CoV-2 virus. In SARS-CoV-2, we have seen hypermutations and most of the clades are lethal. So we see by the numbers, it's evident that SARS-CoV-2 is more diverse than monkeypox virus. And that's why COVID proved to be pandemic, whereas the monkeypox is still far away from being called the pandemic. Now let's get to the global impact of these diseases. We know the COVID-19 wreaked havoc globally. It had higher mortality rates. There were over 800 million confirmed cases globally and 7 million plus deaths reported as of mid-2024. On the other hand, Mpox has less mortality than COVID-19. Mpox has about 100,000 cases globally only with less than 1,000 deaths. Furthermore, in case of COVID-19, there were global recession, business disruption, healthcare failure, social impact like we had closure of education institutes and many more. Whereas in case of Mpox, we have not seen such conditions. It's not fatal as COVID-19. The Mpox is less wide separate than COVID-19 but has experienced notable outbreaks, particularly in the regions of Central and West Africa and more recently in non-endemic countries also. That's why it's now an international concern. But all in all, we can say Mpox has not done any fatal damage globally and it's still far away from the impacts of COVID-19. Then we move on to primary road top transmission. Mpox disease transmits via animal to humans or human to humans. We can see in this diagram we have different modes of transmission. It's by the direct contact with infected person or animal. It shows vertical transmission. It also shows sexual transmission. On the other hand, COVID-19 disease primarily transmits via respiratory droplets. We see the respiratory droplets produced when an infected person coughs, sneezes, talks or breathes. Furthermore, let's get to the potential animal reservoir of these diseases. For monkeypox virus, we have natural reservoirs like rodents, tree squirrels, small mammals and monkeys. But remember, the monkeys are less susceptible than tree squirrels and rodents. On the other hand, SARS-CoV-2 can be found naturally in bats, pangolins, minks, etc. Then we move on to symptoms. For Mpox, we have clear initial symptoms like fever, headache, swollen lymph nodes, followed by skin rash and lesions. On the other hand, COVID-19 symptoms include fever or chills, cough, shortness of breath, fatigue, muscle ache or body ache, headache, sore throat, loss of taste or smell. And there are also asymptomatic cases. Now let's talk about the vaccination. For Mpox, all smallpox vaccines have been administrated for Mpox cases. And for COVID-19, we have specific mRNA vaccines like Pfizer, Biotech, Moderna, Sputnik, etc. The treatments include antiviral medication for both. So this concludes the comparison of both the diseases. I hope you liked the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon or YouTube and make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.